Well, overseas now, and Western leaders appeared on camera to laud him, but President Putin simply issued a telegram. The reception of Mikhail Gorbachev's death in Europe compared to his homeland has been starkly different. He's a figure who divided opinion in Russia and took a drastically different approach to Western relations than the current president. The passing of a giant among statesmen marked with a few solitary carnations at the foundation that he ran. Very ill these last few months, but still aware and deeply troubled by what was happening in Ukraine. Who have been working with him for so many years. Pavel Palashenko worked as Gorbachev's translator for 37 years, always by his side in moments where history was made. He regarded the whole evolution, negative evolution of the relationship uh, as a tragedy. Really a tragedy for him because, among other things, you know, he is of part Ukrainian descent. Uh, his wife is either was either fully Ukrainian or half Ukrainian. You know, he made a statement calling for an early end of the hostilities on the 26th of February. And after that, he chose not to comment, and uh, particularly given his health situation. From the Russian president, a telegram on the Kremlin website expressing his deep condolences to the family, saying Gorbachev had a huge impact on global history. The official response from the Russian state has been fairly muted. It's hardly surprising, given Mikhail Gorbachev's mixed legacy here and also the colossal differences between him and Vladimir Putin, one man intent on trying to build trust and better relations between East and West, the other, seemingly now at least, intent on ripping them apart. A chorus of praise from Western leaders for the man who ended the Cold War. Russian talk shows, though, dismissive of the press commentaries from those they call Russia's enemies, when the picture back home is so murky, they say. And certainly no love lost here for Gorbachev, across the lake from the cemetery where he'll be buried. He changed things for the worse. He split the country. He lost a lot. They destroyed everything. Nothing good to say. Now we have a good president, a real one. Actually, you know, the way uh, many people misunderstand him is not Gorbachev's problem, it's Russia's problem, because I think that in order to really have a path to the future, it will have to come to uh, a proper appreciation of Gorbachev. A moral voice lost to Russia. He will be buried beside his beloved wife, Raisa, this coming Saturday, with a farewell ceremony Russia's president has yet to confirm if he'll attend.